All right. So, here's, here's what we got here. It says on page 24, it says, Category 5 hurricanes virtually wipes out 100% of the homes and causes $500,000 in damage. So, you just put a 500 in there. <clears throat> Category 4s do $350,000. Category fives are one hundred thousand, and since we put our amounts in thousand, all you got to do is put the first part, and then category five fifty thousand. Category one is twenty five thousand. Tropical storms do about five thousand dollars damage, and if there's no tropical storm, it does nothing. Uh, 5,000. From yesterday, and you don't have to flip back to your other thing. I'll help you fill it in. We said the probability of a Category 5 was 0 0.01 happening. Same with, and here's the cool thing. Category 5, 4, and 3 are all the same possibility. So you can grab the little corner and just pop it in there. Category five, 2 is a 5% chance. Category 1 is an 8% chance. And tropical storms are 14% chance, so 0.14. And out of the time, there is a 70% chance nothing will happen. Um, that's at the very end. We're going to put a number in there when we're all done. So, everybody to this point? That it's, I'm recording it so you can look at it. Now, um, for amount times probability, and in your problems, they said that so we're going to take equals. Um, so the amount, which would be column C or cell C4. Oh, B4, thanks. B4 times the probability, which is B5. And if you hit return, it what happened? Oh, I forgot the time sign. There we go. So it is equals B4, asterisk, B5, asterisk times in a spreadsheet. Yep. Then you can take the corner again and drag it all the way across, and it will automatically calculate everything for you. So, you make the first equation, then you highlight, click on here, and you get that little box, and you can drag straight across, and it will adjust the formulas as you go across. Now, here's how they figure their premiums. What they do is they now take this whole row here, or whole, yeah, row. They will highlight it. And go up to the little um, sigma sign here and choose sum. Boom. So based on their statistics that Wait. you highlight the whole, the whole row up to the premium. So what did I did? Hold on a minute. Ben highlighted all the way from 5 to 0 there. And then I summed it. And so the premium now, which is the 
And question two, what's the expected amount of premium for these homes? And that can go down here in question two is 14000 Hold on. Seven hundred dollars. All right, Ben. We have to go back down to shoes. That's fine. <laughs> so here's how they figure that out. There's a chance that a Category Five is going to come in and make wipe out your five hundred thousand dollar house. There's a chance a Category 4 is going to come in and do $350,000. So the amount of damage times the probability for each of those situations, they multiply all that together, add it all up, they come with, here's what I should charge, $14,700 a year for a house on the beach in Happy Shores. Then question three says, based on these numbers, do you think it's a reasonable amount for the insurance company to charge as a premium for hurricane insurance for these homes? But wait, remember, they have to make a profit. So what do you think? So question three is kind of your opinion. You can answer it here. Do you think they should charge 14000 or more or less? Right. Right. So they have to charge more. And remember, the 14000 is just in case something happens. That doesn't include the company's overhead and profit. So once you put your answer in here... How much profit do they need, though? The, the, good question, Maggie. How much profit does any company need... I'm going to just put a bunch of words in here. They got to account for overhead and profit, etc. Now you can see what it did here. If you just highlight this box and do format text wrap, it puts it all in a nice neat little box.